Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you that you can sync more than one iOS device to your Mac. So I get asked this question quite often. People wonder if they get a second iOS device, say they have an iPhone and now they get an iPad, can they sync it to the same Mac? The answer of course is yes, you can sync as many iOS devices as you want to your account on your Mac using iTunes. But there's some confusion that comes in when people think that, well, are the syncing settings the same? In other words, do I have to have the same music, the same apps, the same everything on both devices? The answer is no. You can customize each device to make it exactly what you want. Have the exact music files, uh, apps, everything. Let me show you. So here I've plugged in two iOS devices into my Mac at the same time. Now you don't have to do it at the same time but I'm doing it here just to demonstrate. If you look on the left here in iTunes you can see I have two devices here. One called my iPhone 3GS and another one called old 3G. So these are obviously two old phones that I've got uh, I keep around for testing app development. And I can have them both plugged in at the same time to the same Mac using two different dock cables uh, and they both appear here in iTunes. So this makes it easy for me to demonstrate but the same thing applies if you only have one dock cable and say you plug in your iPhone then you unplug it and you plug your iPad in later. You can set everything separately. So if I look at my iPhone 3GS I can go through all of the different tabs here and say look at music and say that I want to sync music. Select what I want to sync Say I'm going to sync just my Beatles playlist of 14 songs there and apply it. So now that I've synced this playlist here to this iPhone I can look at the iPhone here and see what music is available there and I can see it available. Now this is different than if I look in the other iPhone and I look in music there. There's different music there and if I click on the iPhone itself I can see I have different sync settings for that particular iPhone. So any iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch would appear here. I can set different sync settings for music, I can do for movies, TV shows, photos, uh, and even apps as well. I can even go into info and determine what information syncs from things like my local calendars and local contacts as well uh, to those different devices. And each one can have its own set. I could even go in and say switch uh, this iPhone here to manually manage music and videos and leave the other iPhone at automatically manage them and syncing different playlists and things like that. So this is not a solution if you have multiple iOS devices in your home owned by different people. If say you only have one Mac and you say everybody in your household has an iPhone they should each probably have a separate user account on that Mac and then of course separate Apple IDs and then sync their iPhone using their user accounts uh, on that Mac. But this works if it's several devices like say an iPod Touch, an iPad, and an iPhone owned by the same person. You have the same music library, the same photos, the same everything. But you want to manage what's on each of those devices individually. iTunes, iTunes lets you do this by default. You don't have to do anything special. It's just how it works. Just go in and set each of the sync settings for those devices differently or the same if you wish. So I hope this explains a commonly asked question. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.